Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. I want to start promoting that this uh, YouTube channel is now under the umbrella uh, of the Red 5 Network. Go make sure you check out Red 5 Network for all of their awesome content, podcasts, and other YouTube videos, of which Darth Tuba is now part of the Red 5 family. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to that. You'll start seeing bumpers moving forward. You've probably already seen one here and there. So I just wanted to make that little mention. Thank you guys, all the guys over at Red 5 for welcoming me into their Star Wars content family. All right, so today we have two very unusual, very I shouldn't say very unusual, very different uh, from each other unboxings. Okay, both came in the mail this week. We got one from our favorite, Entertainment Earth, and I do call Entertainment Earth my favorite. And why do I call it my favorite? Because A, whenever something is on sale there, I always am able to get it. I'm always able to pre-order it. They keep they give me like monthly updates on where everything is, and I'm always able to pick it up. So that is awesome. And oh, oh boy, we are on our way. We've got. Let me just make sure there's nothing else there. Nope, that's it. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Doctor Evizan. He doesn't like you. I don't like you either. And uh, honestly, we got to unbox this one. We got to do the full out unboxing. Um, but a little look at look at the regular box, okay? I mean, it's got this nice little, uh, you know, that that weird half trapezoidal shape thing. We've got our pretty cool line art, okay, and black, you know, grayscale with that little orange highlight at the bottom, kind of a, a repeat of that over here. And again, for those who aren't aware, you can line these up with all the other figures that come out, and it kind of makes a long mural. So, I mean, you can put them up on your bookshelf, line them all up, and you get this really cool kind of art mural. And then you can take each one out and look at it. So I appreciate Hasbro's um, attempt at uh, you know giving something not only a displayability quality and storability quality by having a you know fairly not too large of a size box. I do. I appreciate it. And there are certain ones that I've kept in the box. But this one, I'm just being very honest. I just want to take it out of the box because I love this character. I love that he made a cameo appearance in Rogue One. <laughs> Guys, just always messing with people. It's 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 hysterical. So um, I'm going to do the do the honors here on a full out unbox. Everyone's and again, and voice million of voices cried out in horror, and it was suddenly silenced because Darth Tuba actually opened something up. <laughs> I not millions, maybe tens, tens of voices, tens of all the people that watch my channel. But it's okay. I'm not complaining. All right, simple up, simple stuff here. All right, he's got his uh, he's got his one blaster, and once again, an amazing little holster. I'm gonna put him right, put the holster right in there. Now I don't know if this is supposed to go a certain way. Hang on a second. Let me. I like that the that the the holster itself. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to go. Oh, maybe this way. Oh, I think it's, hmm, I am not sure. The holster's great, but it's not being very clear as to where, oh, I think it's, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, it looks about right. Oh, wait, no, I see. It's backwards. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so keep in mind the holster goes in like that. It's a different type of blaster. I don't know if I recall him holding his blaster, so. Oh my God, that face though. Look at that face. That face, that face, that marvelous face. All right, great sculpt. Now, it's interesting to see how um, Hasbro you know, has to do what they have to do with older characters. It's one thing when you're dealing with a new character, right? Because new characters, like from, the, from all, you know, all the actors that, get, that play roles, even the smallest extras will get their whole bodies and faces scanned so that they have a good likeness and they can sculpt whatever they need, whether it be for toys like this, Black Series, or even three and three quarter inch figures now, or for things like uh, statues and busts from like Gentle Giant, uh, sideshow figures that are a little bit bigger. They, they kind of use the documents and do that everywhere. So that's kind of cool. So, um, but with a figure like this, you know, they're really only going by old imagery, right? And we never had an, a Dr. Evazan figure, heck, didn't even have a name uh, I don't think in Star Wars Episode Four when it first came out, it was just a character that was walking past. We didn't get an action figure of him. We did get his 
alien sidekick, you know, Walrus Man, it was called back in the day. But this little guy, um, you know, Pondo Baba is now his name. So I'm loving that they have these these figures, these 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 kind of ancillary characters now in um, Black Series size. So that's really cool. So he is going here now. This next one, okay, a uh, little goes with a story. Technically speaking, I guess you'll have to argue that technically speaking, this is not a Star Wars figure. No, it's not. I am 98.9% sure. Yeah, it's not. It's a different type of figure. This is... All right, you know what? I'm going to reveal something to you in a minute. Let me uh, let me just uh, just bear with me here. Just bear with me. Bear with me. I'm just going to kind of. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. How do I do this? You, 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 <laughs> without you guys like looking at me, it's like looking what I'm doing. You're probably like, what's what is it? What is it? Where's he? What's he doing? And it's kind of hard to explain. But oh, come on, dude, help me out here. I should have probably taken this out already and then shown it to you and then you know pre prep this so I apologize for not doing that but all right well I'm gonna do it kind of half 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 done here just so you're aware all right so we have fire tuck fire tuck no there was no fire tuck in Star Wars it was fire tuck this is the fire tuck action figure from the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves Kevin Costner film of the early 90s and this was the actor with the likeness of the actor that played the Friar Tuck character. Why am I getting this? Well, simple enough. Uh, and I've had, there has been some old episodes. If you look back, you might see them on the Odds and Ends playlist. There was an episode about um, other, it was both Star Wars utilizing, you know, the, you know, Kenner utilizing the Star Wars brand on other toys. Okay, and Star Wars toys being rebranded as other, you know, for other franchise, other licensees. And uh, I just thought it was a really cool thing. And it's become a bit of a collectible in and of himself. Okay, so why do I have this guy covered up in his little robe? Well, you'll see. Um, let me get him out of the robe now. And let's take a look at that. Now, you might look at that and think, oh, well, you know, that's a... Uh, that's that's maybe what Friar Tuck looks like underneath, and yeah, I get it. Okay, but look closely. Take his head off in your mind. Let's let's do this. If I were to do this to you, would it look any more any familiar? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? I wish I was doing this live. Someone would put put an answer in. Okay, let's do something else. Let's paint. Let's pretend instead of his legs and hands being flesh colored, that they were green. Yes. I'm sure you already know the answer. This is the same mold as the Gamorrean Guard from Return of the Jedi. You can see, there it is, okay? The funny thing is I'm not 100% sure, but I think a lot of the other figures were a little bit bigger, like not quite the three and three quarter inch. I think they might have been just a tad bigger, a little bulkier or what have you. But this is, you know, with, without the head, it is complete, 100% Gamorrean Guard. There it is, okay? All you need is a little battle axe and you'd be good to go. So. This guy comes with this nifty little robe, which is fine. Um, but the reality of it is I just got it because I, I think I watched, um, I watched Mighty Jabba's collectibles, right? If you ever watch that channel, great channel. I've, I've commented on his channel. He's commented on mine. And uh, Mighty Jabba, Jabba collect, he's a collector who focuses mainly on Jabba, Jabba's palace, the aliens from Jabba's palace, Rancor, things like that. And he's a really gifted uh, artist and sculptor, and he does some really cool things with 3D printing, where he prints out figures and you know paints them up. Sometimes he does half scale. He does really great stuff. He's I think he might have printed out a full size Jabba. <laughs> I don't know where he put it, but that's crazy. Like a full size Jabba like action figure. Um, check out his channel. It's it's, it's awesome. But anyway, so I noticed that he had uh, a diorama set up of Jabba's palace, and he had put all these characters in. And I noticed this little guy is sitting in the back, and I'm like, you know. He kind of looks like he would fit in the Jabba's palace. Like he's like a, a friend of the Gamorreans, you know, he, he was adopted by the tribe. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to kind of keep him there. I don't know what, uh, what, what I'll use the robe. Maybe I can 
or I could put him in a robe and call him an oversized Jawa. Who knows? But anyway, so two very different figures, two di very different sizes, and two very different um, places that uh, you know and origins that they come from. So there you go. There they are. So. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out all my other videos. Look at my playlist. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Darth Tuba. Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. War of the Stars podcast. Got a lot going on. And uh, at the time of this uh, release of this video, we'll probably be in Galaxy's Edge. So I'm hoping to get another video out shortly after this so that you can see another walkthrough of that Galaxy's Edge and see what's going on there right now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force and the toys be with you.